Hey guys, this is TechRacer and today I'm going to unbox the Redmi Note 7 Pro as you can see. So this is the Redmi Note 7 Pro and it's in Nebula Red uh, with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. And today I received the unit so let's quickly unbox it and see what do we get inside. So you have to just lift the box uh, and I have already opened the seal as you can see so you have to just lift the box and the phone will come out. So yeah, first of all we have few documentations inside this box so let's keep it aside for a time being. Then we have our phone itself as you can see Redmi Note 7 Pro and it's in the red color as you can see. So the color is called as Nebula Red. So let's quickly keep it aside for a time being. Uh, then inside the box we have a partition and a charger. So this is uh, the normal charger. So it's a uh, 5 volt at 2 ampere charger. So it's a 10 watt charger, not a fast charger. But although the phone supports a Qualcomm Quick Charge 4. And then we have a USB cable which is a USB Type-C cable. So that's pretty much inside the box. So let's quickly take a look at the information template. So inside the, uh, this box we have the case itself and it's a simple clear TPU case. So as you can see it's a clear TPU case and it's quite soft uh, in nature. As you can see it's quite soft. So yeah and after that we have a user manual as you can see. And then we have a small booklet which states the SAR value and things like that. So let's quickly keep these things aside and take a look at the phone. So guys this is the actual phone as you can see Redmi Note 7 Pro. We have a 6.3 inch full uh, HD plus display at the front and a dot notch at the top. Uh, then we have at the back side we have the 48 megapixel and the 5 megapixel dual camera setup with a dual LED flash. Then you have the fingerprint sensor and the Redmi branding at the bottom. And at the bot bottom side as you can see we have a speaker grill, the microphone and a USB Type-C port for charging as well as the data syncing. At the top side we have the 3.5mm headphone jack. <laughs> and then we have the IR blaster for controlling your uh, infrared devices. At the right side we have the volume rockers and the power button. And at the left side we have the SIM card tray. And this tray accepts the hybrid compatibility which uh, involves either two nano SIM or one nano SIM and a micro SD card. So let's quickly boot the device. So the phone has been booted so let's first remove the front uh, film and this should be removed uh, for every device that we buy. This is only for the protection purpose and as you can see this is how the phone looks. So let's quickly set up the device. Now in additional setting this is for those who want to freshly set up their device and don't want to have a lot of ads or want to prevent the number of ads that will be shown while using the device. So just disable these options and next turn on location agree and now we can select the theme so I will go with the classic one and the setup has been complete so let's get it into the phone. So the phone has been booted as you can see so initially the so guys initially the display looks quite nice as you can see it's quite bright uh, in terms of the brightness. So let's quickly jump into the settings uh, and about phone. So it's running MIUI Global 10.2 stable version and Android version is 9 as you can see it's Android Pie so that's pretty good thing. Uh, and then we have the Redmi Note 7 Pro 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage so let's quickly jump into the storage as well. So. And so inside the storage we have 51.67 GB of uh, free storage out of 64 GB and the phone is completely uh, empty so do not have any anything stored in it. So let's quickly jump to the camera as well. So this is the camera. So oh, it's AI camera okay. And this is the camera and it's opened for the first time and below we have some different modes so we do have the portrait mode. So as we have the dual camera setup, we have the 48 megapixel as a primary camera and 5 megapixel as a secondary camera for depth sensing. And we have different modes such as portrait mode, night mode and we do have the pro mode inside which we can use the 48 megapixel as you can see. And then we have the standard Xiaomi UI as you can see. So we have the vault here, then we have the recent app uh, and we can clear these. And initially the phone looks quite responsive and quite nice. So as you can see we have the notch at the top uh, and it looks quite nice and the display quality is pretty good as you can see the waving angles are also pretty good so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching